My name is Howard Randall Tomley. I go by Randy, and we're at FPC Pensacola. Did you uh, do any driving prior uh, to the BOP? No, uh, I was in the truck tire business for about 20 years when I was younger, mm -hmm. and I didn't really drive the trucks. I just I just uh, got tires, you know, dealt, dealt with the tires and what have you. Were you excited to hear that they were having a CDL? <clears throat> well, I found it I found it interesting to uh, to hear about it, uh, but it was a kind of a rumor when I first got here about three years ago. But it was more interesting when I got involved with setting up this course out here and, and uh, realized what kind of skills you had to have for it and uh, those type things. And and just uh, I talked to Mr. Beck, who is the class uh, who teaches the classes, and um, he suggested that maybe I want to get in, might want to take the class. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought uh, it might be a, a good challenge for me. The classroom portion, uh, how long is that? Well, when we started, COVID was still involved a little bit, so we had a few interruptions along the way. Uh, I'm sure you can do it in, in a couple of months, maybe three months, and uh, well, it took us a little bit longer than that for some having some interruptions and what have you. Uh, we just had a class finish in about uh, two to three months, and uh, they already have their uh, permit as well, so they're getting ready to start driving here. What do you have to do before you can get behind the wheel of a truck and actually start driving? Do you have to obtain any type of uh, permits or something? Yeah, you've got to have the permit to okay. legally, even even to be out here in the in our little uh, uh, parking area here where, where it's all set up, uh, they want us to have the, the permit before we even get in the truck and or behind the wheel anyway. Uh, <clears throat> you can go ahead and start working on your pre-trip, you know, mentally, trying to get ready for that, but um, they want you to be you know, obviously legal and, and have, not only do you have a permit, but you have to have a licensed driver in the truck with you as well. You know, so so um, everybody wants to just jump right in the truck, but that's really not the, that's really not the purpose of the program. <laughs> exactly. Um, we need to learn, start from the basics and uh, work our way up on that, so. Staff members, well, again, uh, Mr. Beck, uh, being the class, uh, over the class and what have you, we spend a lot of time with him. Uh, <clears throat> um, we spent a lot of time with other students that had been in had been in the program before as well that had uh, had some driving experience and they helped us out a lot as well. Um, then of course Mr. Wells, he he's here but we don't really see him until it's test time. So getting in different trucks is is also an experience. This is a really nice truck right here though this Volvo, but um, and a nice really nice trailer. That's that's one thing about it. This one's almost brand new, and um, so. We, uh, we learned quite a bit just by, just by putting our hands on it. And it just it, it became a reality at that point that we can, we can do it. But uh, it, it's quite a challenge, but it's, um, we, have, you know, we have the time here. So we, we put the time in and uh, there's a lot of us that are, have done well with it. Well, I just think it's a great program for the BOP. I think, I, I think the more programs like this they can get, the, 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 you know, the more people are gonna be ready to go back out into the world and, and uh, you know, whether you, whether you use it or not, you, you find yourself uh, accomplishing something while you're here. And to be able to achieve something like this and, and, and some of the other programs that I know are out there and are available and what we're trying to get here at Pensacola, uh, it's pretty exciting actually to, to you know, see it, see it come in and see these guys that, that really need it to make a living the rest of their lives, you know. To, so um, I'm looking forward to, to other things that are about to happen here, I heard.
Sean Smith, and we're, I'm looking at, at PC Pensacola. I arrived here in March of 2021, and I've been involved with the program pretty much since I got here. For me getting my CDL, uh, reestablishing the ability to get my CDL, gives me opportunities that will allow me to immediately seek employment once I get out. You know, um, like I've mentioned previously before, and I'm fond of telling guys, my, do my dad always told us there's a difference between a job and a career. A CDL allows you to get to actually build a career. Yeah, I mean, it's not just, you know, flipping burgers or, or working at some hotel or, or some factory. Not that there's anything wrong with those things, but this gives me an opportunity to earn the kind of income I want that I can build upon. So many areas in which trucking uh, affects your life. If you eat it, drink it, wear it, a uh, truck brought it to you. So as far as employment, it's a day one thing. You know, my grandfather always said, if you have a CDL and you're not, you're not working, it's because you don't want to. So the uh, CDL program here, um, it, describe to me how it's broken up. It's broken up into phases or something? There's sections, like you're gonna have, uh, you have to get 65 hours of classroom time. There's, in classroom time, that's gonna consist of you learning the basic rules of the road, um, the different laws that govern it, much in the same fashion when you got your driver's license originally. Then you're gonna, then that gets followed up with, uh, you're gonna have a combination of both your skills and your, your driving training after that. That's a comp that totals 85 hours. You're gonna learn things about trailer, trailer maintenance, uh, pr doing a pre-trip on the truck, um, how to handle and get used to pulling a 53 foot trailer or whatever type of trailer it is behind you, uh, as well as backing up whether it be offset backing, uh, straight backing, alley docking, the things you need to know to be able to survive in this industry. What does it feel like to get behind such a, a large automobile and driving it down the road? Well, you know, it's a lot different than a, than a car. I mean, even including uh, whether you're, you're driving a manual or automatic, it's still gonna be different because you are pulling this trailer down, down the road and versus a car that may weigh two tons, you're pulling 80,000 pounds down this road. So it's an amazing feeling. It's a feeling of power, but it's also a big sense of responsibility. Trucking is one of those opportunities you get where um, you have surprises. I mean, when I say surprises, I mean in a good way. Today you're delivering in Denver, tomorrow you're delivering in California, and you had no idea you're going there. It gives you an opportunity to see the country. Um, it, and that's if you want to drive over the road. If not, there's plenty of other positions available, be they regional, local, or dedicated runs. This is gonna give you the opportunity to build something for yourself. It's also gonna offer you the opportunity to start a job that's gonna get you an opportunity to have uh, health insurance right off, right off the gate. Uh, uh, the opportunities to participate in 401k programs. This is gonna be different than going to the halfway house and getting a job at a factory who may or may not have those opportunities available for you. Uh, my name is Brian Burt, and we're located in Pensacola, Florida. How did you uh, hear about the program? Well, I was at Coleman, and my boss over there, he uh, mentioned that Coleman had the CDL program. And um, him and Mr. Wells, they got together, and they got me over here for the program. I've always been interested in uh, getting my CDL license. Just things through life didn't work out that way. And uh, now's the time, and it's everything's falling into place. How was the uh, classroom portion? Was that pretty challenging? It, it was, it was, there was a lot to learn. If you uh, listen to Mr. Beck and Mr. Wells and you followed the, everything, all the details and listen to the small things and uh, study and, you know, it all works out. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, your vocational instructor? Uh, he was, he was very good actually. Uh, you know, like I said, if you, Followed everything he said and, and picked his brain. I picked Mr. Wells' brain a lot and and uh, Mr. Beck as well. Uh, you know, they taught the class very well. He uh, he was very hands-on. I mean, he, kept, he he was a straight shooter on everything. You know, he kept it real and, you know. Do you plan on doing something with your CDL once you release? Yes, absolutely. I, I would like to be an owner-operator, you know, and, and then hopefully near future. Um, 
you know, I think at first when I get out, I'm going to probably work for a company or two and, and then, uh, like I said, become an owner operator. Yeah. Do you think that this course would be a benefit to uh, other people that are incarcerated? Absolutely. It gives them something to look forward to, you know. I've done a lot of things in my life that I'm not proud of, but I think this is a turning point for me. And I think this is uh, a fresh start, something I can be proud of. My name's David Beck. We're located at FPC Pensacola. What's your position here, Mr. Beck? I'm vocational training CDL instructor. Tell me a little bit about the, the startup of the program and what it took to get it started. It was it was challenging, very challenging at first. You know, we had to kind of do a whole lot of parking lot repair. The state required us to have certain things done, and we and we had to, the state lady. She came up and. You know, it was pretty interesting. We had to paint the lines, you know, and you just had to come back a couple, two or three times. You know, it's, it's, it's just not very simple. It takes a while. I teach them from experience, you know. I mean, I, I can teach you out of the book all day, but until you actually get the road behind the wheel experience. You know, I teach from 34 years of experience. I got my CDL when I was 21 years old, and I'm 55, so I didn't start yesterday. You know, I teach them the real deal. That's, you know, what to look for. Safety, safety, safety is number one. Never be in a hurry. You know, just take your time. Look before, during, and after, you know, intersections. So tell me about the uh, possibilities uh, of a career uh, with uh, having a CDL when you get out. Well, it's endless. You know, they, they begging for truck drivers everywhere you look. You know, used to back in the day, you couldn't get certain positions with certain companies, but everybody's hiring. You know, you start with Walmart making 90, nearly $100,000 a year driving fresh for Walmart. I just, you know, I really enjoy doing this and I think it's really great for the inmates. It's an amazing thing for the inmate to look forward to when he gets out, you know. I'm Rodney Wells. We're um, located here at FPC Pensacola, Florida. Uh, my job title is a facility management specialist with the Southeast Regional Logistics and um, manage the logistics site here at Pensacola, but also I've uh, been certified with the state of Florida to be their third party examiner for, for the state of Florida to administer the CDL test. Uh, we have from a mobile kitchens to uh, bunk houses, which is 53 foot enclosed trailers that can sleep 30 people uh, in, in one trailer. Uh, we have uh, generators from a 100 kW all the way up to a 2 meg, uh, which we could run institutions off of. Um, we have equipment from dozers to excavators to uh, flatbed trailers, car hauling trailer uh, to be able to travel back and forth to uh, Terre Haute, Indiana uh, to pick up the uh, different institutionals uh, GOVs that have been issued to them and, and to be able to deliver them. Uh, and, and then by having that equipment here, it gives me a, 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 a great opportunity to be able to uh, teach uh, or to assist with the teaching of the um, CDL program of the importance of uh, securing loads on different types of uh, versus of trailers. Uh, that we have from from a, a low boy carrying a bulldozer to an excavator um, to a refrigerated trailer to uh, even in enclosed dry storage trailers uh, of how to even secure the load inside of them uh, to make it safe to be able to travel up and down the highway with. That that has been one of another one of our goals to be able to meet to to utilize the uh, an inmate detail. And uh, I have utilized um, a, a group of uh, eight inmates uh, to go to um, Estill, South Carolina to uh, retrieve our equipment that we had dropped off up there 
uh, after they were struck with a tornado uh, and, and, and was able to then bring that all that equipment back here to our logistics site to where uh, we go through and do uh, PMs on it and uh, check everything out, make sure it's ready for deployment again. Uh, not only like like you were just saying that that it's not that they have the knowledge for operating the truck, they also have experience in the load and and how to move a load. So uh, and, and then the the other neat thing with this program, not only do we uh, deal with the incarcerated inmates. Uh, we also offer this to staff members uh, to be able to uh, go along and assist us with this uh, because when we do go out with the inmates, we do uh, take staff with us and it is in our best interest to take staff that have CDL license. In the event anything happens, they would be able to even as an example, if a truck broke down uh, and we need to get the inmates on to another destination for a check-in time, uh, staff, the other staff can continue on with the inmates, get them checked in, but then a staff member is able to stay back with the truck, get it repaired, and then join back up with us. Uh, now, with, with our own site, with it being a federal license or, or it's a nationwide license that is recognized um, anybody in say Alabama, Mississippi or um, Georgia or any other state can go through the EDLT part which that's your uh, advanced learning uh, training and get their permit, get their experience they need, their time driving with experienced drivers at their institution and then they can come here to me and, and I can actually test them. Then they go back with to their uh, DMV place and then be able to uh, pick up their CDL license from. So with, with us offering this to them, when they walk out the door and they are, are, are free to back into society, they have the license in hand to go to these different jobs along with uh, uh, experience to let them be able to immediately go back to work uh, and, and start being a, a productive citizen uh, in, in society. So I'm, I'm excited to see uh, of, of the support that we finally have gotten to, to make this uh, program come through. And it has been multiple hands that have been involved to help get this going. and. Uh, excited to see it grow and, and, and do better. John Overfield, Supervisor of Education at FPC Pensacola. This program is extremely unique. It's uh, affording inmates opportunities to learn a valuable skill, marketable skill, one that's in high demand right now on the outside. Um, and it's taught by uh, really great instructors that work for the BOP. Um, and it really is unique to this area and unique to the BOP. Very in demand. Uh, these are programs and this is a skill that inmates can get. They'll get an actual CDL license on the end of it and they'll, when they release to the community, they're able to get a job right off the bat. Um, you know, there's so many companies that are hiring uh, truck drivers, both locally and long distance trucking that having this in their back pocket really does go a long way for them and getting their job right off the bat. I have to be honest, uh, the first time I've ever been in a semi truck has been right here at FPC Pensacola. It was back in April when I first got here. Uh, we went out with Mr. Wells, uh, our first inmate Smith who completed and then of course our state representative who comes and audits our site and I sat in the back and I was holding on for dear life. I didn't realize uh, how big it was and, and really how uh, amazing, you know, that that skill is to have, you know, and to really have that ability to navigate that truck on such a short or uh, I'm sorry, a small lane and, and through the streets of Pensacola it was really, really interesting. It was awesome. Um, I think for one, uh, a big key is to create more opportunities within this program. We want to add more endorsements that can be done right here so that the inmates can get uh, you know, a passenger endorsement and then possibly release and work county transit, state transit, those types of jobs. 
Um, so we're looking to get a bus and add that to our arsenal so that we can kind of, you know, provide them with those opportunities. And then I think as soon as, um, you know, we're up to about 15 completions on the year through the class, you know, as these inmates kind of see that and see this materialize and they see these guys working jobs that now require CDLs um, on the compound and outside, I think that's where we get our growth from and we kind of market it, you know, for them to join this program and get that skill. Um, and we're looking forward to, you know, adding whatever unique opportunities we can to this program to make it ours, you know.